This is the famous artist Juan Miró. He was born in Barcelona, Spain in 1893 and died in Majorca, Spain in 1983. He was friends with Pablo Picasso, who influenced his art a great deal, like in this painting called The Farm, which is a memory that Miro had of a farm that his family used to go to when he was a young boy. You can actually go see this painting here in Washington, D.C. at the National Gallery of Art. Miro was a surrealist. Surrealists made art based on fantasy and dreamlike worlds. Miro was interested in vast expanses like the sky and the ocean and all things from the natural world. Miro tried to paint with the purity and simplicity of a child. Not only did Miro make paintings, but he was also a sculptor. This sculpture is here in Washington, D.C., and he also made ceramics, vases, plates, and tiles. He used these tiles to make enormous murals that can be found all over the world. In his life, Miro made 2,000 paintings, 500 sculptors, 400 ceramics, 5,000 drawings, and 1,000 prints. Let's get started. Are you ready to roll your very own Miro creature? Notice the grid of columns. You're going to need a die, your grid, a pencil, an eraser, and later we're going to use a Sharpie to trace our drawing. First, you're going to roll the die, and that first number is going to be the body shape. Write your name and your class code, and then you're going to look for the shape that corresponds with the number on your die. And try to replicate it on your page. It does not have to be perfect. Remember to draw lightly so that you can erase mistakes. Next, we're looking for the head shape. I rolled a five. It's the cat head. And now I'm going to turn my paper around to find the best direction. And then I'm going to draw my cat head where it looks right to me. Now let's go for the eyes, a number four. So it's that U with the two dots. I'm going to make sure to overlap lines over shapes and use a variety of sizes. So you're going to go from left to right all the way to extras and more extras. You can repeat shapes if you like and add more of the shapes when you get to this point. So right now I am trying to use my whole page by adding lines and shapes. And now I'm going to add one more creature, a little bit smaller than that cat. And I think I'm almost done. Try to keep going until you have a good variety of lines, a variety of sizes, a variety of shapes, and then trace all of your pencil lines. You can even change the lines. You see that I changed the shape of that U and now I'm erasing the pencil lines underneath. So you can make any revisions and changes you want before you go in with your marker. And once you start tracing your shapes, you're gonna see that image reveal itself to you even better. I think I'm going to add another set of eyes to the cat. And now I'm going to change some of the line weights. I'm making some of the line weights thicker to add emphasis and variety to the picture, just to make it a little bit more interesting. 
to look at. We know that variety creates interest and repetition and sameness creates unity. I added a horizon line behind the cat and the other small creature. And now I'm rolling the die to figure out my color scheme. I rolled a one, which means my color scheme is black, which is the Sharpie, yellow, blue, and red. I'm coloring in with paint sticks, but you are going to use whatever your substitute teacher chooses today. It could be crayons, it could be markers, colored pencils, or paint sticks. Whatever your medium is, please make sure to take good care of the art supplies so that we can use them for the weeks and months to come. Notice that by overlapping lines and shapes, you create more shapes to color in. Try to color neatly and carefully. And I think now I want to add one more shape. I'm adding a sun, and now I really feel like I have filled the whole page. I can't wait to see what you come up with in your surrealist creature pictures. Have fun. Miro once said, when I stand in front of a canvas, I never know what I'm going to do, and nobody is more surprised than I at what comes out. I hope you are surprised at what you create today.